Hey, good morning. It's July 31st. Thanks for being here. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before him with joyful songs. See, that's the opening window lines of Psalm 100. And as you know, I'm in the process of getting it memorized. And for me, it works if I can really buy into the meaning of it. So I'm memorizing it phrase by phrase. And this next phrase is what I want to focus on this morning. And the thought for the day is, what is your identity? Well, Psalm 100, like all of Scripture, is just incredibly rich in the different ways that we can understand it. And we can meditate on it. Meditation, biblical meditation, is just thinking about something over and over again and getting the implications of it. And so here we have a statement about our identity in this next section of the psalm. It says, know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves or we are his. As the newer translation says, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So look at these key factors of identification for my identity and yours. Know that the Lord is God. Most important thing to know about our identity is who God is. Because we cannot know ourselves, as John Calvin so clearly states, we cannot know ourselves without knowing who God is and without knowing him. Because God is the only one who knows us. We can't know ourselves well. Only God knows that. So this first reality of understanding our identity is no that the Lord is God. And this no is not just a factual academic sense, but an intimate, deep heart knowledge. Understand, know that the Lord is God. And then this God, who is ruler of all, in other words, the Lord, Yahweh, the covenant Lord, is one who directs things. He is also the God, the Father, the ruler of everything. It is he who made us, and we are his. Again, a basic statement of identity. God made you. You didn't come from the primordial ooze. You didn't become, become some happenstance of, of human evolution. We're not part of the uh, Darwinian food chain. We are the specific, unique creation of God as humans. So he made us. And more than that, we are his, and that's true for all humans, but for God's people, we are his because we are purchased with the blood of Christ. So there's the overarching identity that all humans have, that we were made in the image of God, and we came from him because we're his creation. But then, in a very intimate sense, we are his because of the work of Christ, who bought us and made us his own. Then the psalmist reiterates that. We are his people. We are his possession. And we are the sheep of his pasture. So this identity phrase here, the Lord, he is God. He made us. We are his. We are his people, specifically that he died for us, and the sheep of his pasture. That means that he is our shepherd. So my identity is connected very much to who is my shepherd, and the fact that I even have a shepherd. A sheep without a shepherd is a sheep that is in deep trouble and lost. Where our identity is in Christ, who is our shepherd. So we are God's. He made us. He is Lord of all of this. We are his people. We are his sheep. We belong to him. So this is not about what doing what I want and you want and our life mission to fulfill ourselves. Our life mission is to make the reputation of God great on this planet by every little seemingly insignificant thing that we do, but in reality, all of life is an act of worship and a gift that we can give to God to understand and 
resonate with the fact that we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. He is our God. Therefore, shout for joy to the Lord. Think about that this day. You have a great day. Bye-bye.